Yeah, welcome back. We are now in question number six of this question paper. Um, we'll answer. Uh, when I look at this question beforehand, look at this. Uh, it's one of the worst asked question. Sorry to say that. But we'll answer where we can, where we can't which is uh, vague, then we'll just say so. But question six is always one of the best questions in the question in the chemistry, if well asked. Now let's see this one. They say to us, consider the balance equation for a hypothetical reaction that takes place in two DM cube sealed containers. Fine. Uh, the graph below, not drawn to scale, are obtained for the same reaction at two different temperatures. Fine. Graph A is obtained at 298, whereas graph B is obtained at 398. Temperature was increased there to reach to, reach, to obtain graph B. 6.1, they say state Le Chatelier's principle. Uh, Le Chatelier's principle talks about, uh, in this case, uh, when uh, in this case when equilibrium equilibrium in a closed system because chemical equilibrium is reached in a closed system when equilibrium in a closed system is uh, disturbed Stepped uh, the system, the system will reinstate the new equilibrium, reinstate the new equilibrium by favoring. Favoring the reaction that opposes the disturbance. Disturbance. So one it's long but it's worth it. When equilibrium in a closed system is disturbed, the system itself will reinstate the new equilibrium by favoring the reaction that opposes the disturbance. So we'll talk about it when we explain. Now the next question here, they say, uh, why, uh, what do the parallel lines after five minutes, in this case in graph A, represent? Okay, we know that the concentration of both reactants and products remains the same. Therefore, we have that represent a dynamic or chemical. I hope that one will be in brackets. Equilibrium. Just represent equilibrium. Fine, 6.3. Now they are asking us is the forward direction exothermic or endothermic? Now, in this case now, it will take uh, some thoughts to say, uh, if you look at this one quickly, you'll find that now, uh, the PQ2, you can see it's here, meaning that now it's having 0.4, but when we increase the temperature, you can see now the PQ2 is now lower than the 0 0.4, and that the products are decreasing. If the products are decreasing, the reactants are increasing. You can even see this one. P2 is around here, which is below half. And then here now is about closer to 4. So, which means that now more reactants are produced, then it means this, the reverse reaction is favored which is endothermic, and then the forward will be exothermic. Therefore, your answer will be now exothermic.
now when in this case we explain I say 6.4 explain then explanation will be number one an increase in temperature principle increase in temperature favors an endothermic reaction reaction and then again this one then when temperature increase then more reactants more reactants produced reactants that is your P2Q produced or the concentration of uh, or concentration of P2Q increases this one it will mean that now reverse reaction is favored reverse reaction is favored if reverse reaction is favored it means that now therefore reverse reaction will be uh, reverse reaction will be endothermic this reaction is endothermic and that's all there's no need to say forward is exo I think that is 6.4 6.5 they say to us how does the value of the equilibrium constant Kc for the reaction in B compared to that or in A choose increase decrease or remain the same now we know that when you increase the temperature we are favoring the reverse that the Kc will decrease obvious in this case therefore it will be less than that will be the case and then 6.6 uh, .6. let's start it from the new page 6.6 6.6 now they are telling us to say in 6.6 .6, the equilibrium constant kc is 0 0.49 at 398 kelvins in graph B uh, calculate the initial moles of P2Q which was vague because if you look at this question in graph B the initial moles of uh, P2Q will be zero because this start from zero now there's no need to calculate so I mean that if you can say calculate the initial moles of P2Q we say zero then that's the first option option one I think option one the examiner the answer is that the initial moles number of moles of P2Q is zero moles because you start from you get you get eight marks for saying that one and then whereas option two come in so, yes let's continue I was talking about option one and option option one will be this one the examiner must give you eight marks <laughs> very funny but option two if we just be saying let's hope the graph was not starting from zero it was starting somewhere above here above uh, the zero so the p2q now let's just do that one and see where we, it ends um i got this one because we are given kc we'll start and say kc equals to concentration of pq2 squared divide by concentration of p2q yes we substitute 0 0.49 equals to 
concentration of PQ2 whole squared divided by 0 0.35. Find so far using your calculator you'll find that the concentration of PQ2 equals to 0 0.414 a mole per dm cube that's the case now once we find the this one the concentration at equilibrium we can draw the table now to so say in our table we have got peak 2q and then plus you copy the equation 3q and then reversible with the 2 pq 2 that's the equation. Remember, we draw five lines below this. It's a, it's a very nice method, that one, of five lines. Very simple. In this case, five lines. Yes, yes, yes. Every substance must have its own column. Fine, fine. This side is just when I'll just show that I'm using the mole method, because there are two methods can use concentration and also someone can use also the moles now let's say we are using the mole method we say initial mole change mole equilibrium mole and concentration at equilibrium what's the case we start with what is given oh this one is a solid then don't forget shade this one because solids has no concentration the i is constant now according to the calculation the pq2 is 0 0.414 and this one was given from the graph is 0 0.35 we know that if nothing is said about the products when you start is zero volume of the container according to the statement volume of the container is two decimeter cube you can see 2 dm cube therefore it means that when i move from here i will multiply remember when i'm going this way is c equals to n over v and then when i'm going this way therefore is n equals to cv what's the case that's the difference then now multiply by volume 2 then it will be 0 0.828 which will be the same as 0 0.828 fine I'm getting the products. The reactants here, this will be 1.24 if I'm moving the edge using the mole ratio. And then this one will be 0 0.414 because half of it, this one. But this one times 2, it becomes 0 0.70. Fine, this plus this will give me the initial. Therefore, the initial moles will be 1.1. .1 one four fine therefore i can now conclude to say from this table then i can say now the number of mole of a p2q initial equals to 1.114 mole so that's the second option to get the eight marks which is incorrect because i couldn't the graph as <laughs> starting from zero I will just say yeah, close the whole thing then that's the case fine the examiner made a mistake there now 6.7 examiner they say describe the change made to the equilibrium system at t equals to 8 as shown in the graph B at constant temperature temperature does not change remember if you look at this one there's only one factor that can do this decrease the concentration of both the react uh, reactants and products therefore which will be pressure and that now in this case pressure was decreased pressure uh, decreased decreased we are answering this fine uh, when the pressure is decreased which is contrary to the what is given in this one because I've got this one now, when the pressure is decreased, uh, P2, P, P2Q, which is a reactant, gets more. 
But if you look at this one, the volume on the left is 1 and the volume on the right is 2. Therefore, if you decrease pressure, you will favor the forward direction, not according to this one. So, another contradiction here. But anyway, let's just answer according to that one to say. The last question they say, explain by using Le Chatelier's principle how the system reacts to the change or decrease in pressure. We just use Le Chatelier's principle and ignore the graph. Fine, because the graph is faulty. They say decrease in pressure is a matter of principle. Decrease in pressure. In pressure. Uh, favors favors uh, the reaction reaction that produces uh, less volume less molecules less molecules or less volume it's fine therefore what will happen now uh, less molecules or volume, fine. Volume. What will happen now if we favor this one? It's only two marks. Therefore, it means that now, according to the given equation, which reaction is producing less molecules? Uh, in this case, the forward reaction will be favored. So, decrease in pressure favors yeah no sorry let me correct that one decrease in pressure favors the side that produces more molecule because in this case now uh, it cannot be less it should be more molecules yeah boils law more molecules so it's from the formula of p cos so p is inversely proportional to volume if we decrease pressure the volume increases so produces more molecules then According to this one, forward reaction is favored. Forward reaction. Reaction is favored. Which is contrary to the graph. So the graph says reverse reaction is favored. So let's leave it there. That's the end of our question number six. So those will be marking this one teachers yeah so hopefully there will be some reprieve for learners to get more marks let's pray so our learners will get more marks for free in this question hopefully according to the way it was structured it was not favoring the responses from learners we praise the lord it will be Learners will gain more marks in this question if the marking just continues. Thanks until we meet in the acid section, acid-based reactions. Thank you.